Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first impression on this uh, eyeshadow palette by Colourpop. It is called the Yes Please uh, Pressed Powder uh, Shadow Palette by Colourpop. And um, it looks like this. Cute AF. And on the back it says all the shade names. As you can see. And this is the front. Uh, so when I first saw this palette, I will open it for you. It's a little bit dirty from the inside. It looks like this. It really reminded me of the uh, Natasha Denona Sunset palette. It has the same kind of colors in it, except that palette is around 120 euros. And this one retails for $16. And I ordered it off the Colourpop website, the international one. And if you stay below the price of $22, you won't have to pay any taxes, which is great. And um, if you sign up for the uh, newsletter, you get a $5 discount. So you will have to pay $10 in total for the shipping. But if you have the coupon code for the $5 off, you will only pay five dollars for shipping or only eleven dollars for the palette and ten euros for shipping however you see it um so i ordered this palette and i also ordered the i ordered the new colourpop concealer this one the colourpop no filter concealer and i bought it in the color 15 light neutral there and i bought it a little bit lighter than how my skin color is today. So it looks like this. Really pretty. And here it says the shade name. And I tried it today for the first time. And it was a little bit too light for me, as I just said. But I used it together with my um, concealer by Maybelline. The Ace Rewind Concealer in the color Nude. And it worked perfectly together. And I'm really happy with how much it covered my under eyes. And you don't need to use a lot of product. As you can see from my previous videos, I always use a lot of under eye concealer. But with this, you only need a couple of dots below your under eyes or to highlight your nose or your forehead. And you're perfectly okay. So a little product goes a long way. So that is pretty nice. But now let's go back to the... Thing I'm most excited about the uh, Yes Please palette. I wanted to buy this when it was supposed to release the first time, but it got sold out in two seconds. And the second time it did as well, but the third time is a charm. So I was able to buy it and I ordered it um, last Monday, I think so. And it got in the mail today, and today is Monday as well. So it uh, all in all, it took a week to be shipped, so that wasn't a really long time, especially since I was on vacation, so I didn't uh, thought about it all the time. So the eyeshadow palette contains uh, 12 shades, and it has two different um, finishes. It has four uh, shimmer shades and eight matte shades. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks like. Really, really pretty. And I'm really excited to check to try it out for the first time today. So, without further ado, let's get on started. So first, uh, I already primed my eyes and did the rest of my face makeup. As you can see, I'm wearing a Champagne Pop Highlight by uh, Jaclyn Hill and Becca. So pretty. Um, so I first want to start with a light transition shade and for that I think I'm going to use uh, this shade right here and it's called Bling. And I will apply this with my dirty brush, <laughs> which I didn't have any time to clean. <laughs> uh, and it is the Large Taper Blender uh, uh, brush by Boosty Cosmetics. The only downfall I think uh, for this palette is that it has no Mirror. Nothing at all. 
and the packaging gets dirty really easily as you can see but however it's only $16 and you get 12 shades so I shouldn't complain at all <laughs> um, to your information I will get the single shadows from Colourpop so you can see a little size difference so these are the pens in the eyeshadow palette and this is a regular pen of the single shadows of Colourpop uh, this is the color you know the drill by the way um, in these pens you get 0 0.85 grams and within a single shadow you will get 1.2 grams so there's a little difference however these ones are I believe five dollars each so then you know the size difference okay so now um, let's start on the eyes as I said we are going to use uh, this shade bling as my first transition shade Oh, the eyeshadows aren't powdery at all. That is nice. And let's see how this applies on my eyes. Uh, by the way, I already primed my eyes. Let's get a little bit closer. Now I'll apply this. Just to make sure everything else will go on smoothly. Okay, so the first color is on and it is pretty pigmented. It does show up on my eye. Now let's get on to these. I don't know what look I want to create. What should I do? I really, really want to use this gold. And it's called Spoiled. I believe that two colors were already existing and, were, and are available as single shadows. The only one I know is no to self and I think also no to self is this one yeah this one and I think the first shade was already available and that was this one bling or full zip no full zip and no to self this one uh, were already available as single shadows let's just see where this look will take me I think I'm going to keep it pretty neutral as I'm always doing neutral eyeshadow I don't do anything else and I don't care because I like it <laughs> um, so the next shade I'm going in with is let's build up the color first I will go on in with this shade which is called Big Cocktails this one mm, this one oh this one is a little bit more uh, kickback when you dip your brush in and we will apply this uh, just on top of that first transition shade for some reason this color isn't showing up as it looks like in a pen it swatches like this and it's a pretty peach color and it looks like this on the back of my hand I don't know but it doesn't show up as it's supposed to so um, we will go in with another shade um, let's go in with this one uh, this is called Champs and I will, ooh, look at the pigment. <laughs> Tap it off. Um, and I will go in with a fluffy blender by Boozy Cosmetics. Oh, this one is so pretty. Okay, so they are pretty pigmented and they do blend together nicely. But I'm most curious to see how the uh, foil shadows, shadows will apply. I want to see if they will apply nicely uh, with a clean brush and a wet brush. This one is a little bit more vibrant than I would imagine. And it's a pretty um, orange. Okay, so now I have a clean blending brush and I will um, 
go over the edges to blend them out oh shit i forgot to put my gimme brow in i was looking at the viewfinder i was thinking what the what is wrong with my eyebrows today the front is looking really weird You're still looking really weird. Okay, so don't mind my brows today. They aren't working together with me right now. Okay, uh, so I was blending my uh, shades together. Okay, so they are blending out nicely. Um, so now I want to go in with this shade. And it is called Louis. Louis, Louis, Louis. And I will apply Louis with a Morphe M504. Just barely touching the pen, tapping off the excess. Okay, and um, working it in my outer V in circular motions. Okay, so I have a little fallout happening right now, but that is okay, not uh, too much. And as you can see, with whatever I have left on my brush, I will work it in my crease. And I want to blend uh, this color with the rest of my eye using the shade Gems again. I will apply a little bit more of that uh, shade Louis to further intensify my outer V. Picking up my blender brush again and picking up some of the color gems and blending this again. With this very light hand. Let's get on to the next shade. To really darken up my outer V. I'm going to use this shade, which is called Mischief, this one. And I will pick this up with a, with a, with a, with a, with a blender brush, brush, and it's a little narrow. Picking up that shade. This one has a lot of kickback, so be careful. And I will apply this. Really on the outer V and a little bit lower as the previous shade. Really only darken up that outer corner. Not going too high. Really packing on. This just blends itself. I don't know how that is even possible with $16. Okay, so the other side. Doing the same as I just did, really applying it only on the outer, outer V. Now let's blend this with the color Louis again. With that same Morphe brush. It will go over the edges where the dark color meets Louis. So now the outer edges are um, blended however this is not blended yet because we are going to apply i'm really debating if i use this color which is uh, no to self or this color which is called spoiled uh, i will swatch them both to see the difference and This one is a uh, no to self. And the next shade is spoiled. Not blending as seamlessly, but really pretty. I think I'm going to use no to self. No, the other color, spoiled. Let's see how Spoiled, yeah. Spoiled is uh, applying 
uh, with a dry synthetic brush and just pick up some color it does pick up the color as you can see let's see how intense it is on the eyes I think I'm going to have some fallout oh not as bad as I would think packing it all in I don't need to, I don't even need to wet my brush. It is that intense. How is it even possible? I mean guys, please. I'm shocked. Shook. Shookie is a cookie. I do experience some fallout, but not anything I can wipe away. Now I want to uh, wet my brush with some Fix Plus to see if I can even further an, uh, intensify the color. Oh yeah. This makes it more uh, evenly and really look like a foiled shadow this one is already with a wet brush and this one is with a dry brush so now that my foiled eyeshadow is on the color spoiled I will now apply the dark shade again to um, intensify the outer corner it is called mischief the color I already used before and I will just make sure that the color doesn't go to waste and I will pack it lightly on top of that gold to make sure it's really blended uh, so now I will go back with my Morphe brush and uh, this shade in the palette Louis again to blend that gold shade uh, with the rest I will just very with a light hand go over that shade very lightly very very lightly okay now the top eyeshadow is done uh, let's move on to the lower lash line um, so for the lower lash line I want to apply oh, I got scared I want to apply this color which is called chauffeur so I will dust this all over my lower lash line So that shade is on, I will apply um, this color again, the color Champs, with that same brush which is a pointed blender by Boosie Cosmetics. And I will just go over that other shade, but not as low. For the outer part of my eye, I'm going to I'm going in with that darker shade we used, and apply this very lightly, just to give our eye more of a smoky effect. So this is how the eyeshadow turned out. Um, let me just apply some mascara and lashes, and I will be right back. So I'm back, and I've got my lashes on. Uh, now I will give you my final thoughts about the palette. I think it is a great palette. You get amazing quality eyeshadows for only $16. The only uh, downside I can find if you live in the Netherlands is that you have to wait a week before it arrives. So you can't have it the day after you um, ordered it. You get a lot of, I think, a lot of product for your buck. And I mean, if you could have this palette, which is $16, or the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette for 120 I would definitely go with this. I haven't had the opportunity to try the Nat Natasha Denona Palette. But I do see that a lot of people like it a lot. But I don't know. Who has the money to spend $120 on an eyeshadow palette? I don't. I know I spend a lot of money on makeup. But 
$120 on one pallet not for me um so i would definitely buy this again if i had the opportunity but i already did so i hope you enjoyed watching this little first impression slash tutorial and hopefully i'll see you in the next video bye bye